All right, what's up, everybody? Wilson Harwood here from Soundproof Your Studio. I just want to let you guys know that today we are going to learn about how to soundproof a room. So if you've ever wondered how to soundproof your studio or maybe you have a room that's just being bombarded by traffic noise or noisy neighbors or anything like that, hopefully this video will teach you a little bit more about how to get closer to that soundproof quiet space. In a second here, I'm going to show you guys why I know a little bit about soundproofing because I went through and built an entire studio, which I'm in right now, that is soundproof. And I want to show you a little bit about what I mean. So check out this clip right now. <laughs> what music <laughs> that is so crazy it's so crazy and if you're really serious about learning about soundproofing i highly recommend the book that helped me out a ton which is home recording studio build it like the pros by rodger weiss there's a link to the book in the uh, description below so check that out if you want a deep read and go a little bit farther into how to soundproof so to begin with let's jump right in so soundproofing requires thinking about all aspects of your room. So we think about the floor, we think about the ceiling, and we think about our walls. And then we have to think about our doors and windows. So those are the elements, and we call them assemblies, when thinking about soundproofing. So I'm just gonna start with the floor. So the floor for my home studio was a concrete slab. I was fortunate enough to be able to start from scratch and build it in my backyard, which many people aren't able to do due to cost or just not having a big enough backyard or whatever. So I understand that that might be like, oh shoot, so I have to have a concrete slab. But think about it, your basement or even a garage would be a great place to start building a home studio if you want it to be soundproof. If you have to build it on a regular wood deck, which is what we call floors in your traditional housing, those are not gonna be ideal because you don't have enough mass to block sound. So mass is one of the key parts of soundproofing and you'll hear me talk about this more and more throughout the video. But if you do need to build it on a wood deck in your house, there are ways to do that and it mainly means adding extra drywall underneath the floorboards of your floor so that you create more mass. It's very important to talk to a structural engineer though, so you don't add so much mass that your floor comes crashing down. So that is the floor, simple. You don't wanna do this floating floor thing. You know, I, that's kind of a myth, honestly. You can float a floor, what it's gonna do is it's gonna help maybe a little bit with the vibrations transferring up, but it's not gonna have any more mass. You're not gonna be able to actually slow that sound down through the material of your floor. So floating floors, eh. And Rod Gervais goes deep into this and I trust him on this, so definitely check out what he's saying too. The next thing are our walls. So when we're thinking about our walls, what we want to do is two different options. Basically, you want to build a room within a room. So you're going to have your outside walls to your house or your structure, and then you're going to build a second set of framed walls inside with at least a one inch air gap between your outside wall and your inside wall. Now, this is where the cost really comes in. So there's another option if you don't want to frame an entire new wall, and that is to use what are called hat channels. And I'll show you a picture here of some hat channels that I used on my ceiling, which we'll talk about in a second, but this technique can also be used on your walls. It's not quite as effective at soundproofing as the double walls are, but if you're in a pinch and you don't want to use up a lot of space, Using hat channels and what are known as IB1 clips will help a ton. And if you want to learn a lot more about the materials that I mentioned in this video, definitely check out the soundproofingcompany.com. They were my go-to source for a lot of questions as well as all the soundproofing technical gear that I needed. So definitely check them out, they're awesome. I'll have their description in the link below as well. So once we have our walls figured out, then we need to think about our ceiling. So the ceiling is gonna be ideally a totally brand new ceiling built off those interior walls that you just built. However, that also adds a ton of cost and is not necessarily doable in all situations. So what you can see right here is that I use the hat channel system and I put them on the rafters of my ceiling of my structure. And the reason we use these hat channels is that they can decouple the drywall from the structure of the building itself, thus reducing the amount of sound vibrations that can come through. Now, let's talk about the mass aspect of soundproofing. So soundproofing has basically three aspects to it. You have air, so you don't want air to transfer from inside and out of your room because then sound will also get in. 
You don't want to have any vibrations transmissions through the structure of your room. So you wanna create those air gaps that we talked about between the walls and your ceiling. And then lastly, you wanna make sure you have tons of mass on the floor, the walls, and the ceiling. So to get that mass on our walls and also our ceiling, we're gonna use two layers of 5 8 inch drywall. This drywall is super heavy. And when you put two layers together, it is massive. And what we're gonna do as well is put a layer of this really funky substance called green glue in between all of our layers of drywall. So what you're gonna do is you just put a whole bunch of drywall up like you normally would, but you don't have to tape it or mud it or anything. You just put the drywall up, screw it into your, your studs. Then you're gonna take the green glue and put it on the back of your second layer of drywall and stick that up onto the, the first layer of drywall and screw it in as well. And what the green glue does is when it dries, it actually pushes a little bit of a layer between the two pieces of drywall and reduces the amount of sound that can get transmitted between those two layers. So it's just another extra step that's gonna help with making your room that much more soundproof. So lastly, let's talk a little bit about your doors and windows. So ideally you have no doors and no windows, but that's impossible. So we have to make a sacrifice. Your windows and your doors are by far the weakest links in this whole system. So in order to do this, I would recommend putting in the least amount of doors and windows as possible if you're looking for an extremely soundproof room. Now, if you're like me, you really like light and natural light to come in. So I put in a couple windows into my studio. They're small, they're custom made, so they're not like a traditional size window, but Nonetheless, they have been amazing and they keep the sound out. So let's first talk about doors. So your doors need to be, you guessed it, super heavy. So with our doors, you have two options. You can build the door yourself or you can buy a pre-made door, which is extremely expensive. I'm talking like three to four to $5,000 for a door. It's kind of crazy. But the other option with the doors that you can do is create two doors, which are called communicating doors. And what you'll have is one solid core door on the outside of your entryway and another door on the inside and both doors will be sealed with weather stripping. The key with your doors is to make sure that there's absolutely no air gaps. So you want your door to weigh a ton, upwards of around 300 pounds, and then also make sure that around every single piece of that door, you have no air gaps whatsoever. And that means using magnetic weather stripping, it means using some of the weather stripping you can find at your local hardware store, anything you can use to seal up those gaps. Lastly, let's talk about windows. So windows are super interesting. Again, you have two options. You can build the windows yourself or you can buy super, super expensive, you guessed it, pre-made soundproof windows online, upwards of a couple thousand dollars each again. So I decided to go the do-it-yourself method. That's kind of my personality and it was pretty crazy. So I'm gonna go over windows, like I said, briefly, just to give you a general idea of what to expect if you're thinking about even beginning to build a soundproof room. So with your windows, you wanna think about having two layers of glass. Again, if you did the double wall system like I did in my studio, you're gonna have a nice nine inch or so air gap in between your windows, which is great. The more of an air gap you have between your outside pane and your inside pane, the more soundproof your window is gonna be. The second thing is you wanna use really, really, really thick glass. So we're talking about glass in the order of about five eighths inch on one side and a half an inch on the other. So this is some pretty thick glass. And lastly, like always, if you're building these windows yourself, you just wanna make sure that it's completely airtight around the window and you set the pieces of glass in there. And as you can see, these windows do not open. So if you're hoping to get a fresh breeze on a summer day, it's not really gonna happen. Unless you can find a different system where you're able to open the window, but then again, it's probably not gonna be as soundproof. So there's a lot of give and take with soundproofing. The one thing I wanna remind you is that it's an all or nothing ordeal. If you decide to just build a really expensive soundproof wall and don't think about the doors, the windows, the floor, or the ceiling, it's not gonna be soundproof because the sound will suddenly get through regardless. So there's a lot of pieces to soundproofing and this is just a quick overview video. If you want to learn more about how to soundproof a room, I have a free course that you can find in the description below. And this will just give you a more in-depth idea of how, what it takes to soundproof a room. 
Also, when you sign up on the email list, you'll get my 10 secrets to professional recordings and mixes as a bonus offer. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick video. If you have any questions or comments, or you want to learn more about soundproofing, then please let me know in the comments. I'm making these videos every week, so I want to know what you guys want to learn about when it comes to soundproofing your room or your studio or whatever it is that you're trying to make more quiet. All right, I'll see you next week. Thank you.